Moving on, it's Lee again from Tool War Pro, and today we're going to talk about this FNI RSI WD1 wall detector. We're going to try it to see if it's any good. First, let's inspect this rig I made. I've got some elements attached to a board, a wooden bar, an aluminium pipe, an iron pipe, and of course, a live electricity cable. On the bottom, we've got the on-off switch, a charging port, and a reset pinhole, a charging cable. Let's turn the device on. This is the display, this is the indicator, and these are the control buttons for foreign objects, metal and electricity. When using the device, your hands must be dry and remove any jewelry or electronic devices nearby. We'll start off by trying to locate the wood, which is a foreign object. There are two available settings, the exact and deep, and of course we'll have to calibrate the device before starting to measure. Slowly move the device across the wall until you can see the center indicator turn on. For foreign objects, the exact mode penetrates 20 millimeters deep, while the deep mode goes all the way to 38 millimeters. That's not too deep. Let's go ahead and switch to metal detection. Again, we slide the device across the surface until the center indicator lights up. We'll use the same technique for this 90 degree bend of an iron pipe. Notice that when you scan ferrous metals like steel or stainless steel, you will get a small magnetic symbol next to the iron bar. And there we've got the corner located. You can use the center indicator hole to mark the wall. Let's detect electrical wires now. Again, I slide the device across the wall. This time, my eyes are on the signal strength on the right-hand side of the display. It's important to note that the device is going to have trouble detecting through bricks or blocks, metal or glass or any dense material. Let's try and locate the wire that leads to this switch. We can see the signal strength going up and voila. This is the exact center. After trying the device several times, I found that it worked most of the times. The material quality and build are quite nice. Important tips would be to move the device very slowly across the surface and keep your other hand away from the surface being inspected. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And check out our other videos. See you in the next one.